What's going on YouTube? Welcome to Wessie's Angling. We're out on the bank today, it's a windy autumn morning and I'm going to show you how I tie my Method Vida hook links. Right, okay, so what do you need to tie a Method Vida hook link? The rig that we're going to be making today is a banded hook link now, I pretty much predominantly use these for method feeder fishing. Uh, I think you get the best bait presentation and it also frees up the hook. So let's talk you through each component. So the first thing you're going to need is some one mil rig rubber. I will give you close-ups of these in a second when we go to tying the rig. You're going to need some small bait bands. We've got some Guru Engage hook link material. And we've got our hooks. Can't be simpler. It makes it a lot easier if you get yourself a method feeder rig box as well. They're very inexpensive and it's just going to help you when it comes to measuring the hook links out perfectly. Right, let's get into tying the rig. Okay, so I've got everything in front of me that we are going to need to tie this rig. First thing I'm going to do is take some of our hook link material. Give yourself a good amount to work with. I'm going to put, cut about a foot and a half off there. Then we want to get one of our bait bands. And we want to thread our hook link through the bait band and leave yourself a decent tag end of a couple of inch. Okay, now I'm just going to wet that because it'll make it easier to tie the knot. So I just wet them two parts of the rig together. Then I'm just going to go around my finger, round the loop to tie a figure of eight loop knot. And then I'm going to get my baiting needle and I'm just going to pull that bait band through the loop. All these things make your life easier. So, can be fiddly, but I'm just gonna pull that through the loop. And you'll know when you tie it right, because it'll literally form a figure of eight. So let's zoom in on that. So there we go, can you see that? Now we don't wanna pull that tight yet. What we wanna do, and this makes the rig a lot neater. You want to take your baiting needle, you want to put it through the big part of this figure of eight loop, trap the band against your finger like that, wet it, and then you want to pull the figure of eight loop knot down gently against the baiting needle. What that'll do is it'll close that knot tighter around the band. We don't want it to trap the band because we want the band to have some free movement. That's where I'm going to go for now. Like I say, I've wet this down. I'm just going to ease my baiting needle out of that little hole. So that's now free. I'll wet this whole thing down and then I'll pull the knot tight. What I usually do is I'll put the tag end in my teeth or just trap the tag end and pull that tight. You can see that. So there you've got your band tied onto the hook link and it's got freedom of movement. There's a little tiny loop there that'll just give it a little bit of flexibility to move. That'll stop your band breaking. So I'm then going to trim off that tag end closer than not. So that's the first part of the rig tied there. Now what we want to do, and this is really important, you want to trim off a tiny little bit of one mil rig rubber. Probably a couple mil. And then slip that onto the line. Can be a little bit fiddly getting the rig rubber on. But there we go. I'm just going to pass that all the way up to up the line, up to the band. Then we want to get one of our hooks. Now, what I'm going to do, and this is makes your life a lot easier doing it this way around, I'm going to hook through this little bit of rig tube. and then pull my band and her down, probably so that the band's about a centimeter off the top of the hook. So that's how the rig should look so far. Now what I want to do is pass the tag end through the eye of the hook back to front. 
And now we're going to whip that hook on using our knotless knot. So all that little bit of rig tubing is doing is pinning that hurt against the shank of the hook. So I'm going to start tying my knotless knot. Going around the shank of the hook seven or eight times. Then what I want to do, and this is really important, I'm going to go back over the loops once, twice, pin that with my fingers and then put the tag end back through the eye of the hook to secure that knotless knot in place. So that's where we're at. That's the rig pretty much tied. One last little tip. If you take your case for your hook links, hook the hook over one of the pillars, measure it out to the size that you want your hook links. I think this is three inch. Then bring it back round, pin it with your fingers there and then lift it off the rig case. So that's going to be the perfect size every time now. So we can get rid of that rig case now and I'm just going to tie a figure of eight loop knot there where I've pinched it. So again, round the line, use your baiting needle as a tool and just bring that back through. And like I say, when you've tied it right, it'll form an eight shape. So let's zoom in on that. Wet the knot. There's your eight shape and just pull that down. So you want to pull that. It helps if you can get something that isn't going to break the line through the loop and then tighten the loop by pulling on the tag end as well. Make sure you uh, trim the tack end and not the hook length section. I've done that before now. Fairly close to the knot, leave about half a centimetre. And there we go. That is our method feeder hook link tied. So if we put it in the case now, it should be perfect because we've measured it against the case. So there we go. That's perfect. Well, you can see how using that case as a tool allows you to tie a perfect size hook link every single time. Okay, folks, so it's as simple as that, tying your own method feeder hook links. I hope you've enjoyed this short tutorial and it's given you the confidence to tie your own method feeder hook links. It'll allow you to have a play about with the length of the hook link, uh, the line that you're using and the hooks as well. If you are interested in method feeder fishing, please subscribe to the channel. There's plenty of other videos on the channel and content uh, to do with method feeder fishing. So if that's what you're interested in, feel free to hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions about method feeder rigs or the rig that we've tied today, feel free to pop a comment down below. I'll always try and get back to and reply to the comments. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next West is Angling.